morning on day 17, just leaving the albergue. Today is a day where I had to make uh, tough decisions. But first, let's get some breakfast, because I'm starving. Today was supposed to be an easy day, man. A 20 kilometer day. So, where did it all go wrong? Let me try to explain. I had to cross a 60 kilometer stretch of, a, of an old Roman road that cuts through uh, farm fields, farmlands. And if you thought there was little uh, support for pilgrims in days past, you have no idea. There's really nothing here. There are no hotels. Towns are a speck. So I managed to, uh, to get a hold of a place that offers uh, pilgrims a place to stay. It's a private house, a private house. Uh, with the help of uh, the receptionist yesterday, I managed uh, to get in contact with them. But guess what? They're not there today. So that really threw me off. Now, instead of having to uh, cross it in three days, which was my plan originally, that extra day that I had saved was gonna come in handy. Now I'm gonna have to do it in two days. And I have to wild camp as well. It is nine o'clock. For a 40 kilometer day, leaving at nine o'clock is kind of late. But I don't wanna get to that town at uh, three, four o'clock and then have to spend the rest of the day in a town that's no more than probably 10 or, or 20 houses. So I wanna be a little bit uh, low key. Uh, the Via Francigena website recommends an alternative route, but it takes five days to cross. That would put me two days behind schedule. There's another alternative, which uh, I don't like and you don't like, which is to take a, a train to the next major city. But then that would put me five days ahead of schedule. So I'm pretty much uh, locked in into uh, doing this. I'm gonna walk my 40 kilometers today, wild camp, and tomorrow I'll reach another town where they have about six or seven places, uh, restaurants and hotels that I can stay. And that's where I am right now. It is a cool 68 degrees right now. But that's gonna change. It's gonna go as high as uh, 96. I have plenty of water and Gatorade. And uh, yeah. Not looking good, man. But let's go for it. I guess this is it, Kulus. This is the last town before I'm completely exposed to the sun for kilometers and miles on end. It is starting to uh, warm up. As you can tell, I'm sweating a little bit. And I have to put a uh, sunscreen before I head out. I took out the big guns, turned my uh, shorts into pants because for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be completely exposed to the sun and I've been getting uh, some burn from my knee down so uh, yeah taking a little break here surprisingly I found a little bit of shade but I'm still not at the Roman road that's coming up ahead and I'm gonna be doing it during midday <laughs> if it wasn't for my umbrella where is it right there oh man I'll be toast got a little windy it is uh, 12 30 lunch is uh, tuna and bread bread that I got from uh, the restaurant yesterday where I had that amazing meal the chicken with uh, cheese on top potatoes and uh, salad you remember that 
because I do right now. <laughs> so yeah, I took the bread. I usually do that when I go to a place where they give you a free bread. I just, you know, get it all and it comes in handy in moments like this. I found this patch of uh, trees in the middle of this barren desert that is uh, extremely helpful to get away from the heat of the day. It is cooking right now. Can I tell you how hot it is? You can see the steam coming off in the distance. And uh, I don't even know, I don't think I'm halfway there yet. It's gonna be a long day, but we'll make the best of it. I'm also having some Gatorade. Here you go. I brought uh, six bottles of water and four bottles of Gatorade, plus the liter and a half that I have in my Camelback. I think I should be covered for the for today and tomorrow. Today is a 40 kilometer day. Tomorrow is probably gonna be 20. Today is Saturday. No, today is Friday. Not bad. That means that tomorrow I get to town on a Saturday and not a Sunday. There's a supermarket there so I can uh, resupply and get ready for Sunday and Mondays because you know those are not fun out in the road out on the Via Francigena. I've been walking all day on uh, this ancient uh, Roman road. What little remains of it, I think it's been paved over. If, there, if all the roads lead to Rome, as the cliche goes, this one was actually made for it. I'm gonna follow it all the way home. Don't you love warm, Gatorade or Powerade. That is one of the reasons why when I get to town, if I can find a bar and have a cold beer, it's not because it's beer, it's just because it is the coldest thing that they're gonna have in there, by far. Maybe an alcoholic by the end of this trip. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, you have no idea how amazing that was. That was like a cold shower in 95 degree weather. <laughs> right when I was here baking, I had to take off my shirt. It was so hot and I saw this right here and I'm like, should I give it a try? Not only did I take a shower, but I refill all my empty bottles and I'm set to go. I only wish they had one just like this at the town where I'm staying. And then any day could be like today. That was good. What a strange day. If it wasn't for that water uh, irrigation pump, I would have definitely gone in head first in here. I might still do it. Nah, I'm good. I just uh, soaked uh, my shirt in the water again and I'm getting a cool bath once, one more time. Let's keep going.
I am now out of the Roman road and back onto the pave to the <laughs> heavily traffic uh, countryside road that are gonna lead me to my town. I'm glad that I left it behind because it was kind of slowing me down with all the gravel and the stuff but on the paved road I fly and I fly low. Catch me if you can. I dipped uh, my shirt in the pond back there and it's like a mini shower just uh, dripping water down my body helping me stay cool. Uh, challenging days are the best man. They're the ones that you will never forget. I will never forget this day. Cole was the town I was supposed to stay today if uh, everything would have gone according to plan but like I mentioned before the family that takes uh, pilgrims in here is not available today now I could have probably camped here but then that means that I would have had to camp tomorrow night as well because I was counting on them to help me find a place in the next town since I don't have their help uh, camping for two nights I don't have the supplies for that maybe if I find a place but you know so far with my experience I can't count on that so I'm gonna keep on going for another what is it 20 kilometers it is 4:15. yeah I'm trying to get there by nine o'clock so that I can just uh, camp in the park and tomorrow I'll wake up at 4 30 start walking by 5 sounds like a good plan let's see if I can find a, a bar here well it looks like I found a supermarket and uh, it's help yourself look at all those apples that's gonna come in handy. El Camino provides. <laughs> Man, when it comes to bars uh, and restaurants, I don't seem to catch a break. Always closed. I should just go to Paris. <laughs> All right, now we're talking a vending machine. It's just what I needed. So I got a couple of uh, orange apple juices. Is that what this is? That is exactly what it is. Apple juice and it's cold. And I have two. Just when it all seemed uh, lost and bleak, uh, the bars were closed. I found this vending machine. Got two bottles of uh, apple juice and a box of strawberries. And uh, the owner was stocking up. He saw me and he's like, Santiago de Compostela. So I got a uh, bone root out of it yep let's keep going I still got uh, 20 kilometers to go well wouldn't you know it just put uh, the name of the town on my uh, Google Maps and it's not 20 kilometers but 12 should be there in two and a half hours just when you think things are going bad they turn for the best I think I may have found the uh, pilgrim shelters. It's actually a bus stop, I think. Could have been a perfect place to spend the night. All right, just made it to this village because it's not even a town. It's more like a collection of a few houses. It is 7.30. I've been walking since 9 a.m. this morning. What a day. He had his ups and downs. It was good to see in the last uh, few kilometers signs, pilgrim signs, 
It's just that the infrastructure is really not here yet. Uh, gotta find a place to camp. I'm not even gonna call it stealth camp because I'm just gonna camp and I don't care what people say. The plan is uh, for tomorrow to leave between 4.30 and 5, trying to avoid the, the sun so I can get to the next town before noon. Let's get to it.